A warm welcome to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic IGNO programs overview with a special focus on prospects for education qualification through bachelor's degree program. Basically, in this session, I would be covering a basic overview about the programs of IGNO and a special emphasis would be given on prospects of uh, for education qualification through bachelor's degree Sorry. program. As you all know, Indira Gandhi National Open University was established by an act of parliament in the year 1985, and it was established as a central university to achieve the objectives of democratizing higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learners, providing access to high quality education to all those who seek it, irrespective of age, religion, and gender, and with a purpose to offer need-based academic programs by giving professional and vocational orientation to the courses and to promote and develop distance education in India. In fact, uh, IGNO has also been award accredited with NAC A++ and awarded the Center for Excellence and Excellence for Distance Education Materials by the Commonwealth of Learning. So, uh, basically, through this session, what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect with you all so that uh, you get a basic idea about the programs which are on offer uh, in IGNO for the January 2022 session. As a part of promotional initiatives for the January 2022 session, we are conducting regularly conducting this live sessions so that you get a basic idea about the programs of IGNO. Basically, after watching this session, you should get an idea about the over about the programs of IGNO and which are the bachelor's degree programs specifically on offer in IGNO. So I've just highlighted uh, the bachelor's degree program, which are ever, which are on offer for this session. The main being the bachelor of arts program, BA general, bachelor of commerce, BA, BCom general, bachelor of science, BSc general, bachelor of computer applications, BCA, bachelor of library and information sciences, BLIS, bachelor of arts tourism studies, bachelor of social work, uh, BSW general, which is uh, the syllabus has been revised recently, the bachelor of business administration retailing, BBARL, Bachelor of Arts, Vocational Studies, Tourism Management, BAVTM. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Economics. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in History. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Political Science. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Psychology. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Public Administration. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in Sociology. Bachelor of Arts, Honours in English and Bachelor's of Science uh, Honours in Anthropology and Bachelor of Science Honours in Biochemistry. Then we have the Bachelor of Arts in Hindi, Bachelor of Arts Honours in Sanskrit and Bachelor's of Performing Arts Hindustani Music Honours, uh, that is BAPHMH. So these are some of the new programs which have been introduced in this uh, January 2022 session. So there are around 21 undergraduate programs which are on offer presently at IGNO. So basically, why do we think about uh, uh, doing a course in distance education? In fact, the viewers would be wondering why I, I should enroll for a program in distance education. In fact, you all have educational aspirations. You know that you all are having your job responsibilities. You have your work, uh, work responsibilities. You have your own responsibilities. So along with that, it may have happened that you would not have been able to complete your educational qualifications the way you have wanted. So IGNO provides you with an opportunity so, so that you can complete your uh, professional commitments, you can enrich your knowledge, you can have empowerment, you can enhance your job prospects and skills, and this uh, enhancement would help you achieve uh, 
help you to achieve your dream job in the process. So basically, we all are studying with IGNO and IGNO means lifelong learning and learning is a never ending process. And with IGNO, we have learners who are of 18 years of age. We also have learners who are 75 years of age. We have learners of 80 years of age as well. So we have all sorts of, uh, so we have a learners group, which is quite heterogeneous. And it's the, it's a, a, a very variety of uh, heterogeneity, which we see in IGNO. So why IGNO? Basically, uh, when we think about IGNO, it is the flexibility which IGNO offers, uh, uh, which makes it more convenient because we do not uh, we do not have a min uh, we have a minimum duration and a maximum duration. So that is the flexibility which IGNO provides. We have regional centers. We have around fifty six regional centers across the country, and that flexibility in place, pace, and duration of study is available with IGNO. We have our uh, digitized study materials, which is available on e Kosh link, which is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Our materials are cost effective and we have a modular approach to our programs. So these are some of the features or highlighted highlights, which I must say are on are at IGNO. So IGNO supports through the 56 regional centers across India. We have regional centers in Northeast, North, East, West, and South, and even central parts of India. In Kerala, we have three regional centers. One is Cochin, one is Trivandrum, and one is Vadagara, out of which Cochin Regional Center is one of the largest regional centers in South India. As far as IGNO Regional Center Cochin is uh, concerned, it was established in the year 1988 and it caters to mainly six districts and one union territory of Lakshadweep. The districts which it caters to are Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and union territory of Lakshadweep. We have our learner support centers located in each of these districts as well as in Lakshadweep, which provides the basic support services to the learners who are enrolled under IGNO Regional Center Cochin. In IGNO, the admissions are heard twice a year, basically in two sessions, I must say. One is in July session and one is in January session. The January session starts with effect from 24th of December 2021, and the admissions are now presently open, for which the last date is 10th of February 2022. In case you are interested in joining um, for the January 2022 session, you please uh, can register. You can apply online. As you all know, IGNO is a digital university and all its services are online, uh, right, starting with admissions and even applying for examinations is done online. So you have to apply to IGNO programs uh, through an online link, which is available on the IGNO website. The online link is https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. Or you can also visit www.igno.ac.in. You can go to register online and click on the fresh admission. So once you click on the fresh admission, uh, you get a, a variety of programs which are on offer. We have a lot of programs of certificate, PG certificate, diploma, PG diploma, and degree and postgraduate programs which are on offer at IGNO. For all the details about the programs, I uh, request you to kindly download the Common Prospectus January 2022, which is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Under the Common Prospectus, you can get uh, the brief details about the program. You can also get its uh, structure. You can also get its uh, uh, duration, eligibility criteria, and other details which are of interest to you. Under the Regional Center, Cochin, we have our thirty learner support centers, and there are ninety programs which are activated under Igno Regional Center, Cochin. Out of which, some of the prominent programs I have just highlighted for all of you. We have our uh, BA program, BA Honors program, BSc, BCom, BCA, BSW, BLIS, MEPC, MCA, MA, MSW, MSc, DFSM, MSc, CFT, PGTFSQM, DCE. CFN programs of IGNO, 
which are quite popular with our masses. And the information brochure is also available on the RC Kuchin website that is https rckuchin.igno.ac.in. Even if you give a, a Google search for RC Kuchin, you can open the brochure and you can also give a look look into the complete details about the eligibility criteria and the fee structure also which is mentioned however for the latest fee structure i request you to kindly download the common prospectus january 2022 from the main igno website and kindly go through the same thoroughly so i've just list out, listed out some of the programs which are activated under regional center coaching for the master's level program the bachelor's degree program PG diploma programs, diploma programs, certificate program, and PG certificate programs. Supposing if a learner is, is doing certain jobs or he wants to acquire fluency in English language, so definitely he can opt for our certificate in functional English program, which would help him to acquire the desired fluency in English. Similarly, if a learner is interested in knowing more about the basics of food and nutrition, he or she should enroll for the certificate in food and nutrition program. And suppose if a learner is interested in working in rural areas or in working for rural development or working for some NGOs, they should definitely go for the uh, certificate program in rural development. You can also do a master's level program in rural development and a master of social work program as well. Supposing if the students are interested in knowing about psychology, and uh, to have an interest in this uh, psychology field, then such students should enroll for the ME psychology program of IGNO, which is also quite popular with the learners under regional center question. So similarly, an array of programs are available, which you can just go through uh, in our brochure, which is available on the RC Cochin website. Just give RC Cochin in the Google and you can get the uh, RC Cochin brochure, which is available. So how you can apply? This is just a screenshot of the main IGNO website, which I which I have shown, uh, www.igno.ac.in. Kindly go to Fresh Admission, go to Register Online, and click on Fresh Admission. Once you click on Fresh Admissions, the igno.admission.samarth.edu portal opens, for which the last date of submission of application is 10th of February. Uh, you have to create your user ID and password, and with that user ID and password, you can apply to any of the programs of IGNO. But as a prerequisite request, all participants, all learners who are desirous of applying, to kindly scan their uh, certificates and mark sheets uh, so that the same can be kept somewhere and you can use it while enrolling for uh, IGNO, IGNO or applying for IGNO. So there are, uh, this is, once you uh, click on the program information, all relevant program information is also available. And you will also get to know the study centers which are activated for the said program. You can search for any of the program under the IGNO Admission Samarth portal and uh, uh, the program information can be obtained. Every program in IGNO has a minimum and maximum duration, like a certificate program has a minimum duration of six months and a maximum duration of two years. A diploma program has a minimum duration of one year and a maximum duration of two years. A bachelor's degree program has a minimum duration of three years and a maximum duration of six years. Similarly, a master's degree program has a minimum duration of two years and a maximum duration of four years. So, as I told you previously in this phase, in this live session, I would be covering uh, undergraduate programs of IGNO and uh, let me uh, share with you uh, about a popular program, which is the Bachelor of Arts program of IGNO. In fact, the Bachelor of Arts program of IGNO is a uh, very uh, is a multi is a mix of disciplinary, interdisciplinary, and skill based courses. The program is basically of 132 credits uh, uh, and has to be earned by completing the following categories of courses like the core courses, discipline specific electives, ability enhancement, compulsory courses, skill enhancement courses, and general electives. In fact, uh, when you uh, take admission for a Bachelor of Arts general program. Basically, the learner has to choose two disciplines from the 14 disciplines for completing his or her BA program. 
once the uh, two disciplines are chosen in the first semester, he has to, uh, he or she has to take core courses and discipline specific elective courses from these two disciplines only in all subsequent semesters as per the program structure or template. So what are the objectives of the Bachelor of Art, uh, Arts General Program? The main objectives of the Bachelor of Arts General Program is to introduce the learners to the main themes and topics of disciplines in humanities, social sciences, and sciences, to provide the learners with the information and skills to analyze their world. In fact, the uh, BAG program follows the choice-based credit system, wherein the syllabus was revised with effect from July 2019, and uh, it basically, it's a skill-based syllabus, more of it, uh, which enables the learners to work towards ability and skill enhancement through exposure to appropriate courses. Uh, it also aims to impart reading and writing skills through assignments and exercises at undergraduate level, and also expose the learner to the in importance of interdisciplinarity. So these are all some of the basic objectives of our BA general program. It's a skill based program basically and uh, uh, and the syllabus has been revised. So these are the following disciplines uh, from which you can choose. You have to choose two disciplines uh, as a core course under the Bachelor of Arts general program and the disciplines which are available are anthropology, economics, history, political science, psychology, public administration, sociology, mathematics, Hindi, Urdu, English, Sanskrit, education, and philosophy. So now let us see the eligibility criteria of the Bachelor of Arts program. The eligibility criteria is basically 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. The medium of instruction is English. Uh, it's available in English as well as Hindi medium. The duration, as I mentioned earlier, for all undergraduate programs of IGNO, the duration is minimum three years and maximum six years. And the fee structure is rupees 10,500 for the full, full program. And to be paid year wise, it's uh, coming to around 3,500. But the fee which you have to pay in the first year is 3,700, which is including 200, which is the registration fee. So just I have given a uh, idea about the program structure of the Bachelor of Arts general program. As you can see, uh, it's a semester based program uh, wherein there are six semesters out of the uh, and it's spread across the five uh, disciplines. That is, the, you have the course course, you have the discipline specific elective, you have ability enhancement compulsory courses, you have the skill enhancement course, and you have the general elective. IGNO also offers Bachelor of Arts Honors program, which includes a substantial number of courses drawn from a single discipline and a few interdisciplinary and skill-based elective courses. In fact, the Bachelor of Arts Honors program is a 148 credits program, which has to be earned by completing the following categories of courses, which are the course courses, discipline-specific elective, Ability Enhancement Compulsory Course and Skill Enhancement Course and General Electives. Presently, the Bachelor of Arts Honors Program is offered in the following disciplines. Uh, uh, the following disciplines may be of interest to our learners. One is Economics, History, Political Science, Psychology, Public Administration, Sociology, English, Hindi, and Sanskrit. So what is the eligibility criteria for applying for the Bachelor of Arts Honors degree program? The basic eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. Similarly, the minimum duration is three years and maximum duration is six years. And as far as the fee structure is concerned, it is rupees 11,700 for the full program. However, you need to pay rupees 4,100 for the first year, which includes the registration fee of rupees 200. So this is the program structure of the Bachelor of Arts Honors program. As you can see, it's uh, quite similar to the Bachelor of Arts general program. However, the credits are a bit more, like Bachelor of Arts general program was of 132 credits. 
while uh, the Bachelor of Arts Honors program is 148 credits and uh, the core courses have 84 credit while the discipline space uh, specific electives have 24 credits. The ability enhancement compulsory courses have eight credits. The skill enhancement courses have eight credit. The general electives have 24 credits. So total credits comes to 148 credits and it is spread across all the six semesters. Though it's a semester based uh, system, the learner once after taking admission to the BA general or a BA honors program, the exams are conducted yearly. So once if he registers for the July session, then he has to write his examinations in June. If he registers for the January session, his uh, examinations come in December. In IGNO, the examinations are conducted twice a year. One is in June and one is in December. However, there has been some certain changes. This has happened due to the pandemic situation prevailing right now. So next, I would like to talk about the Bachelor of Commerce program. The Bachelor of Commerce general program is a 132 credit program and which can be earned by completing the following categories of courses. That is the core courses, discipline specific elective, ability enhancement compulsory courses, skill enhancement courses and general electives, which is similar to the, what we have seen in the Bachelor of Arts honors and Bachelor of Arts general programs of IGNO. So what are the objectives? Why, uh, why a learner would be interested in doing the Bachelor of Commerce program of IGNO? It's basically to indicate knowledge, the challenges of various dimensions of business and commerce can be better understood by doing a BCom general program from IGNO. The program focuses on the development of ability as well as self-employability of the learners. The program aims at providing commerce education to the large number of learners located in the country, including the far-flung areas and selected masses, as well as to reach out to the disadvantaged and marginal groups of the society. In fact, one of the objectives of IGNO is to reach out to the unreached. So this BCom general program is also an opportunity to reach out to the marginalized groups of the society. The multimedia interactive teaching step, flexible time and space of the program provides opportunity to a large number of heterogeneous group to acquire education in open and distance mode. And the program also aims to develop the analytical skills and financial and accounting skills of the learners. One more uh, thing which I would like to highlight here is we have a CST fee exemption for certain programs for our learners. The list for which the CST fee exemption is available is all available on the RC Cochin website, https rccochin.igno.ac.in. And the fee exemption is mainly available only for the undergraduate programs like BA General, BCom General, uh, and uh, certificate and diploma level programs only. It is not available for the BA honors or B, uh, or the BSc honors programs of IGNO. It is only available for the general programs of IGNO, mainly at the undergraduate certificate and diploma level. So basically, as far as the eligibility criteria of the BCom general program goes, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The duration is minimum 3 years and maximum 6 years. As far as the fee structure is concerned, it is 10,500 for the full program, which has to be paid. And year-wise, you need to pay 3,500, uh, which is the fee to be paid in the first year. So I've just given you a tentative structure of the BCom general program, which is an offer at IGNO. As you can see, uh, it, it comprises of all the five uh, uh, areas which are covering like the course, core course, discipline specific electives, ability enhancement compulsory courses, skill enhancement courses, general electives. So in the first semester, you have 22 credits to study. In the second semester, again, you have 22 credits. So total credits uh, uh, will come to around 132 credits. So as you can see, the 
for a uh, fourth semester again it is 22 credits fifth and sixth is also 22 credits so for the in, for the complete program to be successful you have to complete 132 credits of the program next i would like to highlight the bachelor of science general program of igno the basic objective with the Bachelor of Science General Program was established was to provide higher education for a BSc degree in conformity with the UGC CBCS to aspirants, including learners from deprived sections, including those living in remote and rural areas, seeking degree for employment, further higher education, promotion in career and professional development. So those who are learners who have a basic interest in science uh, field, they uh, and have a basic eligibility criteria which is required for the science program can apply for the bachelor of science general program of igno the program is basically 30 132 credits which is again spread across, across four categories that is the discipline specific uh, uh, core courses discipline specific electives ability enhancement compulsory courses and skill enhancement courses in fact, the Bachelor of Science degree program is offered in the following disciplines, botany, chemistry, geography, physics, geology, mathematics, and zoology. The basic eligibility criteria for the Bachelor of Science general program is 10 plus 2 with science subjects or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is basically in English and Hindi. The duration is minimum three years and maximum six years, while the fee structure is 15,300 for the full program to be paid year wise is rupees 5,300. So this is the program structure of the uh, Bachelor of Science program where you have to complete your third 132 credits, which includes 22 credits in each uh, semester i must say and it is spread across this four uh, core courses that is the discipline specific core course discipline specific elective ability enhancement compulsory course and skill enhancement course so here i would also highlight uh, like to highlight that till now in this session i have covered the BA General Program, the BA Honors Program, BCom General Program, and now the BSc General Program. There is also BSc Honors Program, which is also available for two disciplines, that is, uh, that is Biochemistry and Anthropology, and the same also can be, uh, you can view from our Common Prospectors January 2022, which is available on the IGNO website. Now, let me cover some of the other popular programs of IGNO which may also be interest to our learners, uh, that is the Bachelor of Social Work program for those interested in providing professional assistance to the people in need. So for those who are interested uh, in working in the social sector, especially in NGOs or especially in the field of HR or in community settings, the Bachelor of Social Work program would be of uh, great help. The basic eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, wherein the medium of instruction is English and Hindi, and the duration is minimum 3 years and maximum 6 years. As far as the fee structure is concerned, it is rupees 17,700 for the full program. For the year, per year, you need to pay 5,900. Next, we come to the Bachelor of Library and Information Sciences program. Uh, this program is also quite popular amongst our learners. So the basic eligibility criteria for the bachelor's uh, of library and information sciences is bachelor's degree with 50% marks and 45% for, uh, for the SCST and OBC PH category and the bachelor's degree with diploma one year in library science or a bachelor's degree with two years working with working experience in library and information center as far as the medium of instruction is concerned the blis program is available in english uh, english and the assignments and examinations can be written in hindi language the duration of the blis program is minimum one year and maximum two years 
and it is offered in both the January and July cycle of admissions. As far as the fee structure is concerned, it is rupees 7,900 for the full program. So just, just I would like to give you a brief uh, structure of the BLIS program. The BLIS program is a 36 credit program. That is, you have to study nine subjects. Out of the nine subjects, six are theory subjects, two, the uh, two theory and practical, and one fully practical subject. So this is how the nine subjects you have to cover. Like uh, as given, the following uh, topics are covered under the BLIS courses, like, uh, like library, information, and society. Information sources and services, organizing and managing information, ICT fundamentals, management of library and information center, document processing practice, information products and services, ICT in libraries. Especially this program would be of interest to those learners who are already working uh, in the library setting or those who are interested in working in libraries across the country. Next, I come to one of the most popular programs of IGNO, that is the Bachelor of Computer Applications program. The basic eligibility criteria for this program is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is English. For those uh, uh, learners who have a basic interest in information technology and who want to work in the information technology field or who want to find a job in the IT sector, this program would be of great interest to them. As far as the fee is concerned, it is rupees 42,000 for the full course and rupees 7,000 per semester. And it's uh, for those who are interested in taking computing and IT as a career. So basically, I have highlighted through this session some of the few programs, the undergraduate programs, certain undergraduate programs, which may be of interest to our learners who are viewing this session. So basically, once again, I would like to highlight that we have various bachelor's degree programs on offer. This include the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Computer Applications, BLIS, Bachelor of Arts in Tourism Studies, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Arts in Tourism Management and Vocational Studies, and the Bachelor of Arts honors program, especially in economics, history, political science, psychology, public administration, sociology, and English. And we also have Bachelor of Science honors program in anthropology and biochemistry. We also have a launched a Bachelor of Arts honors program in Hindi and Sanskrit, and that's Bachelor's of Performing Arts in Hindustani Music honors as well. So these are the 21 undergraduate programs which are presently on offer under IGNO. And those learners, I have just given a bird's eye view to the, uh, or to the courses of IGNO and especially focusing on the undergraduate programs of IGNO. I am sure after watching this session, our learners would have got a basic idea about the programs, which may be of interest to them and which may help them to enhance their job prospects or also help them professionally to advance their career. So basically, I would just highlight once again that we have two websites. We have a website. Our main IGNO website is www.igno.ac.in. You can also get all relevant information from our regional center Cochin website. That is https rccochin.igno.ac.in. For those learners, having a firm belief in yourself, uh, please try and enroll to any one of the programs which are of interest to you. And you can apply online through our admission link, which is available on the IGNO website. You can go to register online and click on fresh admission. And the link which you will get is https igno admission.samarth.edu.in. In case you have any queries pertaining to the session or pertaining to the courses of IGNO, please feel uh, free to write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in and we would definitely be responding to the same. We also have our Twitter account through which I uh, request you to kindly follow us at, uh, in our Twitter account. 
at of RC Kochi. You all, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of videos which may be of interest to our learners. And hence request you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook page of RC Kochi through which this session is being held. You can also refer to our regional center Kochi website, IGNO website, and the link of online admissions is again being highlighted here. So request all to kindly enroll for any of the programs which may be of interest to you at IGNO. So once again, I thank all uh, participants uh, who have viewed the session for the patient and uh, watching of the session and any queries you have with respect to the session or with respect to the programs of IGNO, please feel free to write to us at rccoaching at the rate igno.ac.in. So once again, thank you all for watching this. Thank you.